Good evening and welcome to 365 Days of Amazing Stories with Theo Amira. Here we are on day 149 and I'm continuing the story of the treasure seeker. Shepherd Martin, that old man, had told the story of the apparition. The innkeeper had asked him whether he'd gone and sought out that treasure. Martin had replied that he had not for two reasons. One, he did not know how to find a spring root. But two, he felt it was too risky. Well, Blazer, another shepherd, old as well, who'd known Martin all his life, said, I could have helped you with that. It's a pity that you kept it secret all these years. But for a joke, I'll tell you how to get a spring root. Blazer began. Now you must seek out in the wood a black woodpecker. And you must seek until you find one that is rearing young ones in the hole in a tree. Once you've found this, what you need to do then is take a very hard clod and close up the hole of the tree. When the woodpecker comes back, she will be desperate to get in to her young ones. She will circle the tree, calling out to them and calling out a few times and realizing there's no way to get into them. She will fly off in the direction of the setting sun. Now, what you must do is be prepared for her to come back because she will come back with a spring root. And with that spring root, she will place it before the clod of earth and that clod of earth will come flying out of the hole. What you must have at the ready is a scarlet or a red scarf or cloak. Um, just a red piece of fabric will do. For the minute she gets to her nest, that clod will pop out. And what you must do then is shake that red cloak, that scarlet cloak or piece of cloth. It will frighten her. She will think there is a fire and she will drop the spring root. Now, you have to be quick about it. Some people go to the trouble of actually making a fire, sticks and grass. But very often when they try to do this, well, the fire doesn't leap up with its flames at exactly the right time. And once that woodpecker sees you, it will fly off with a spring root in its beak and not think about you again. The moment she gets to the tree, you must have that red piece of cloth at the ready. Shake it in there as if it's a fire. And in her fright, she will drop the spring root. But her young ones will be free as well. Well, it was late by the time Blazer had finished his explanation of how to seek out and find a spring root. So the men, standing up, bidding the landlord adieu, they walked out, except one. One man, known by the name of Peter Block. We'll leave the story there and find out tomorrow who Peter Block is.
Have a good rest of your day or evening. And thanks for joining.